Hi everybody, my name is Joey Fight. I'm the founder of thephysicaleducator.com, a PE pedagogy coach, and the head of community over at PhysEdU. And today I've got something that I want to share with you that's not really a game, but a bit of a game system. It's my take on what is traditionally known as king of the court. I call it keepers of the court, and I want to show you exactly how it works and why I use it. So the purpose of Keeper of the Court is to set up a self-running system in which students get to get a lot of gameplay in so that they can practice their tactics and skills and free up the teachers so that they can go around and provide feedback and assess and do all of those things that are going to help advance learning in their classes. So although you can use the system in a variety of games, we're going to look at how you can use it here in badminton. Now just a quick note on setups, one thing that I always like to do was that I would set up, let's say if I had six courts in a gym, I would set up an equal amount of courts that would be at the beginner level, then an intermediate level, and then an expert level. And I would allow students to travel between courts however they chose, trying to find the right level of challenge for them. This way here, what I've experienced in my own teaching is that students were able to find a place where they were able to feel comfortable, where they're able to grow their skills, and when they felt ready, usually they would try to move up to the next level. So to set up, it's really simple. You set up a variety of badminton courts, and as I mentioned earlier, you can set up different courts for different skill levels that students get to choose from. At each court, students will engage in singles play, and there'll be two players on the court. One player will begin as keeper, and the other player will begin as the challenger. Now, one of the things that I would recommend that you look into is making sure that games are short. So in this case, we're going to have these two players play a game to three points. By keeping games short, you're ensuring that the students who are waiting for a turn aren't waiting for too long, but you're still giving the players who are on the court an opportunity to apply their learning. So if the challenger is defeated, they move off the court and they can either go back to the end of the line or they can switch courts should they wish to. On the other hand, the keeper adds one win to their count. While challengers are attempting to beat the keeper so that they can become the keeper themselves, the keepers are trying to get three wins as keeper to earn a crown. Once the keeper has earned themselves a crown, they remove themselves from the court and they get to go to the class whiteboard, where they'll be able to write down their name and put a crown above it. Their job now is to try and see how many crowns they can earn throughout the lesson. This system helps ensure that no player ends up dominating at a course for the entire lesson and keeps things fresh for all of the rest of the class. When a player who has just finished writing their name at the board returns, they go back to the end of the line at the court where they wish to play. When a keeper earns a crown and has left the court, the next two players in line jump onto the court and play rock, paper, scissors to decide who will begin as keeper and who will begin as challenger. So that's Keeper of the Court. That's how I've set it up in my teaching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to find more activities for your teaching, go ahead and check out the games page over at thephysicaleducator.com. And if you want to keep learning about systems and skills and tactics that you can be bringing to your teaching to take it all to the next level, consider joining us on campus over at PhysEdU. You can find a link to that in the description below. I would love to have you join us. It's a really fun time and I can't wait to work with you to help you grow into the teacher that you deserve to be. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, happy teaching.